Hello everyone, this is your Katna here. So in this video, we are going to see what is bilinear transformation and we are going to do a problem on this, right? Okay, coming to bilinear transformation. The transformation omega equals to Az plus B by Cz plus D where AD minus BC is not equals to 0. If you are having a transformation omega then and AD minus BC is not equals to 0 where A, B, C and D are complex constants. Complex constants in the form or you can say what is complex number x plus y i by is a complex number right using variables x and y okay. Suppose if you are having A plus I B, say 5 plus I 2. Okay. This will be called as complex constant. This is actually a number. A number which is called complex constant. So, you will be having A, B, C and D are complex constants. Okay. In the place of A, you will have one complex number. In the place of B, you will have one complex number. In the place of C, you will have one complex number. And then in the place of D also, you will have a complex number, which are constants. Okay. Is called bilinear transformation. The bilinear transformation is otherwise called Mobius or Linear fractional transformation. Okay. Important note. The condition. See we are having the condition right. AD minus BC is not equals to 0. Ensures that the bilinear transformation is conformal. Okay. If AD minus BC is not equals to 0. It ensures that the bilinear. The given bilinear transformation is conformal. If. If. AD minus BC is equals to 0. If the condition is equals to 0, then F of Z would be identical constant, which is nothing but every point in the Z plane is critical point. Okay. If AD minus BC equals to 0, then every point in the Z plane is a critical point of the transformation. Okay. Fine. So let's get started with some problem. Example problem. Problem. Find the bilinear transformation which maps the points. So we are given three points of Z plane into the points. Again three points of omega plane. So here we have to find the bilinear transformation. And we are given points of Z plane and omega plane. Okay. So let's see. Solution. Given Z1, the points of Z plane is named as Z1, Z2, Z3 and the points of omega plane can be named as omega1, omega2 and omega3. Okay, so we are having Z1 equals to 0, Z2 equals to minus i and Z3 equals to minus 1 and the points of omega plane are omega1 equals to i. Omega 2 equals to 1. Omega 3 equals to 0. So here, firstly, we have to check whether we are having infinity as a number, as a point or not. So we don't have any infinity. Okay. So next, the bilinear transformation is given by omega minus omega 1 into 
omega 2 minus omega 3 divided by omega minus omega 2 omega 3 minus omega which is equals to z minus z1 into z2 minus z3 divided by z1 minus z2 into z3 minus z. Okay, this is a cost ratio property of bilinear transformation. Okay, this is the formula. So now, since you don't have any infinity here, so simply we can substitute the values of the points. Okay, so from this you will get omega minus, omega 1 is i into omega 2, 1 minus omega 3, 0 divided by omega 1, i minus omega 2, 1 into omega 3 0 minus omega which is equals to z minus z1 z minus z1 is 0 into z2 minus i minus o z3 is minus 1 divided by z1 minus z2 0 minus o minus i into z3 minus 1 minus z. Okay. Simply we have substituted the values of z and omega. implies omega minus i into 1 minus 0 is 1 divided by i minus 1 into 0 minus omega is minus omega. Minus omega can be written as minus 1 into omega equals to again z minus 0 is z into minus i minus into minus plus 1 divided by 0 minus of minus i is i into now take minus from these two so you'll get minus 1 into 1 plus z okay So this implies. See here you are having minus 1 and here also you are having minus 1. So cancel minus 1 and minus 1. So you will get omega minus i by i minus 1 into omega which is equals to z into i would write it as 1 minus i divided by i into 1 plus z. Okay. So I will keep only omega terms here and I will take the remaining to right hand side. Right hand side. So, I will get omega minus i by omega equals to z into 1 minus i into I am taking this to right hand side right. So, we will get the numerator divided by i into 1 plus z. Okay. So, here you are having 1 by i. 1 by i can be written as 1 by i into i by i. So, you will get i by i square. Since i square equals to minus 1, so you will get i by minus 1 which is equals to minus i. So, therefore, 1 by i equals to minus i. Okay. So, now we are going to replace this 1 by i to minus i. So, you can write it as z into minus i into 1 minus i into i minus 1 by 1 plus z 
Okay. So LHS remains the same. Okay. This implies omega minus i by omega equals to z into i into you can write minus i as i into minus 1. So here take minus common. If you take minus common we can write it as i minus 1 into i minus 1. So you can write this 2 as i minus 1 whole square in the next step. Right? 2 sorry divided by z plus 1. So this implies omega minus i by omega equals to z i into minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 into i minus 1 into i minus 1 can be written as i minus 1 whole square divided by z plus 1. Okay. So, you can apply a minus b whole square formula which is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab. For i minus 1 whole square, right? So, this implies omega minus i by omega equals to zi into i square, a square plus minus 1 whole square is 1 minus 2i divided by z plus 1. Okay. So this implies omega minus i by omega equals to z i into, since we know that i square equals to minus 1. So we'll get minus 1 plus 1 minus 2i divided by z plus 1. So, minus 1 and plus 1 gets cancelled. So, you can write it as z i into minus 1 into 2 i divided by z plus 1. So, this equals to minus 1 into z i into z i z i into 2 i sorry is 2 z i square divided by z plus 1. So, you are having i square. You can write it as minus 1 into 2z into minus 1 divided by z plus 1. So, minus 1 into 1. Uh, sorry, minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. So, you will get 2z by z plus 1. 1. Okay. So you have omega minus i by omega equals to 2z by z plus 1. So now you will do cross multiplication omega minus i into z plus 1 equals to 2z omega. So, this becomes omega into z is omega z. Omega into 1 is plus omega. Minus i into z is minus z i. Minus i into 1 is minus i equals to 2z omega. So, now we are going to take all the omega terms to left hand side and the remaining terms to right hand side. So, you will get omega z plus omega minus 2z omega equals to zi plus i. So, this implies omega z from omega z. Better take omega common, then you will get z plus 1 minus 2z equals to z plus 1 into this implies omega into 1 minus z. Okay.
2z minus z is z. So you're having minus 2z. So minus 2z plus z is minus z, which is equals to z plus 1 into i. From this you'll get omega equals to z plus 1 into i by 1 minus z. So you can write it as take minus 1 common. Then you'll get z minus 1. So this equals to minus or z plus 1 into i by z minus 1. So therefore, omega equals to minus z plus 1 into i by z minus 1. Okay. Let's verify that AD minus BC is not equals to 0 or not. Okay, so we are having omega equals to AZ plus B by CZ plus D. You can write in terms of AZ plus B by CZ plus D. So you have Minus i divided by z minus 1. Now compare these two. We will be having a equals to minus i. b equals to again minus i. c equals to 1. And d equals to minus 1. Okay, let's check it again. Minus i. Minus i. 1. Minus 1. So now, AD minus BC equals to A minus I into D is minus 1 minus O minus I into C is 1. So this equals to minus I into minus 1 is I minus minus I into 1 is minus I. So this equals to I minus into minus plus I. So this equals to 2i which is not equal to 0. 2i is of the form ai plus b. Okay. Not ai plus b. az plus b 0 into z plus 2i. 0 plus 2i. Okay. So this is a complex number. So here you are having answer a complex number. Okay. So therefore, AD minus BC is not equal to 0. So, our transformation is a bilinear transformation. Is the required bilinear transformation. Okay, this completes the problem. So, bilinear transformation is omega equals to minus z plus 1 into i by z plus, sorry, z minus 1. Okay. So we have seen a problem from bilinear transformation. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.